Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Easy Buckets, guys. This is a video on players that have become drop candidates and just it just sucks, and now they're just useless to your fantasy teams. Y'all ready to get into it? Three, two, one, let's get it. Let's go. Boom. I'll tell you guys how this video is gonna work, guys. I've created a list of about 15 players right now, and just before we expected some value coming out of that, whether it is a low end value or just gonna be a player who can help support your fantasy teams in the deep, in the deep league teams. These are players either we were expecting them to bloom and just be a stud and just do well for our teams, or just players that will give some decent value. But the bad news is that these players are not giving us any value and just are just a really big disappointment. Before I start the video and the list, guys, I just want to say if you guys haven't done already, guys, go subscribe to my Instagram account, easy.buckets, and also subscribe to this channel for more fantasy basketball videos, but other than that guys, let's go straight to the video on the drop candidate list. Y'all ready? Let's go! Terrence Ross of Orlando Magic. Right now he is a starting small forward guys, but because of Jonathan Isaac and Jonathan Simmons coming off the bench, his value was really, really, really inconsistent guys. Some games will give you good points, but on most nights, he'll just give you straight duds and just bad field goal percentage. Marvin Williams of the Charlotte Hornets guys, his minutes have been dropping, dropping, dropping due to many upcoming Hornets players. Especially with Dwight Howard playing nice and Frank Kaminsky, Marvin Williams value is not looking so great. Tony Snell guys, ever since they got Eric Bledsoe, Tony Snell Snell has now moved to the bench and Malcolm Bryson is a starting shooting guard and Snell's value is just now not great and just he's not really important to the bench in the Milwaukee. Dante Murray had a really good start to the season with the Spurs but now Tony Parker is returning soon and he is slowly falling out of the Spurs rotation guys so the Dante Murray is now a drop candidate. Jerry and Grant of the Chicago Bulls guys, he had a great start to the season, but now that Chris Dunn is back and they're really looking forward to developing Chris Dunn, Jerry and Grant is now a drop candidate. Derek Rose guys, it's sad to say Derek Rose is now a drop candidate because Isaiah Thomas is coming back soon and Derek Rose is currently injured guys and by the time he's healthy and ready to roll, Isaiah Thomas will be healthy and his value will be nothing. Skylar Bissier guys, the Kings have not been using Skylar Bissier guys, they've been using Costa Kufos more than him and Skylar Bissier was expected to be a great great center and a low end pickup but now he's just playing trash. Kelly Olenek of the Heat guys, he's just coming off the bench for the Heat playing less than 20 minutes a game and not giving you great statistic numbers. Josh Jackson guys, we were expecting Josh Jackson to be a very crucial point in the Suns offense and defense but TJ Warren is doing well, TJ Warren is playing great and that takes away a lot from Josh Jackson's value. Thought Maker guys moved to the bench for John Henson and Thought Maker even as a starter had little value and now as a bench he'll have no value. A center we were expecting him to bloom was Nolens Noel of the Dallas Mavericks guys. He's now coming off the bench for Dallas and hardly coming off the bench in this way. Nolens Noel is no longer a player that should be on your fantasy teams. Also with Georgia Dang, he is also not playing well off the bench as Taj Gibson is playing well for the Timberwolves. Another player is Ursan Ilyasova of the Atlanta Hawks guys. He is playing less than 10 minutes a game with the Atlanta Hawks and he is a veteran who is not important to the Hawks as playing time counts. And the last player that I'm personally disappointed in is Willie Hernan Gomez. I really liked him guys. He had a really great preseason, but now he's not even in the rotation for the New York Knicks guys. Thank you to Ennis Cancer for that. But other guys, Willie Hernan Gomez is a player to keep an eye on, but as of right now, no, he should not be a part of your fantasy teams. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. If there are any other players that I missed guys, put it down in the comment section below guys and just let me know what you guys think about this list, okay? But other than that guys, subscribe for more basketball videos. Like because you guys love basketball and just take it easy guys. God bless. Have a good day. I'll see you next time. It's Easy Buckets out. Woo! It's Easy Buckets. Easy, easy.